Welcome back. We're here in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen this morning, and here with me is Gina Luari, the owner, the head of the statement group. Yes. Really excited about the new restaurant, Raw, in Hartford. And along with me, Shantu Ton, Hi. head chef here. We're glad to have you here. You're going to be cooking what is really exciting here, a crab fried rice. Yeah, it's uh, one of our signature dishes over at um, mm -hmm. Raw. So I'm just going to start here. And yes, we're going to have you get started here. All the ingredients right here, and they're going to be listed on our website. Yeah. Gina, why don't you tell me a little bit more about this new concept. This is the first concept for the statement group yes. outside of the place to be. It's really exciting. It's super exciting. This has been a long time uh, in the making, so I'm really happy that we're here today. Um, Raw is our first boutique brand from the statement group. It kind of takes the raw bar uh, idea and defaces it. Raw bars are typically white tablecloth. Um, we're a little bit grungy as a brand. It's fun. We have a lot of fun with the raw menu items. We have a lot of exciting food. We elevate it by adding a whole crabs, whole lobsters. So really having all those raw bar offerings, um, but just with our own twist on it. Right. And if someone is not into raw food, mm -hmm. are there going to be options for them? Oh, yeah. Maybe we have watching steak now. and we have chicken, so we'll, we'll be fine. We're all, also looking for a vegan crab cake, so oh, wow. we're, we're definitely headed that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and really cool is some of the drinks, right? Oh, That's yeah. Really we have a, a blowfish that has dry ice. Um, so she, Chef Shantoon actually came up with these recipes, which are incredible. And then we have a lychee martini and an octopus glass. We also have some pictures. I don't know if we can pull those yeah. up. Some other options that are featured in this under the sea concept, Absolutely. right? Very cool. And also, okay, here we go. Oh, Chef yes. Chantu, this is like right that. here. This is one. Of, that was a really great. That was drink. a good one. That yeah. was a matcha mojito. Uh -huh. So that was Chantu's concoction, and I had like 14 the other day. <laughs> <laughs> It was so good. So, it's a really fun concept, right? Absolutely. Like you were saying, you didn't want it to be intimidating. Yeah, I definitely wanted it to have it more accessible to raw bars. They're, they are intimidating mm -hmm. to a crowd that's not usually designed to go out to them. Again, white tablecloths. So we kind of wanted it to just be a little more accessible and had a, we have a wide range of menu options from mm -hmm. like the low end kind of bow, shrimp bao buns um, to this really exciting uh, over the top dinner dishes. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, have to mention this exciting news for the statement group and also for you. Forbes magazine oh, yeah. recently featured you. That was huge. That was a huge recognition. Right. And we we're so lucky to be featured. Right. Really kind of putting the statement group on the map. Also, Hartford, also Connecticut for yeah. this sort of showcasing of food. That's really kind of like a. And statement that, well, the statement <laughs> group, but it's really a showing yeah. of food. Absolutely. I think 90% uh, of what we do in the aesthetics have a lot to do with what's going to look good for the customer um, and what's going to excite them when we bring it out to the table or right. when they walk into a space. So we think a lot about how it comes out, the presentation, you know, why do a regular mac and cheese when you could put it in a whole lobster? So that's what's really, really exciting. Dinner to me, dining period is an experience. Um, so we definitely want to create that. Right, right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's really exciting. Thank really you. great to see. Big news really there. Really appreciate it. We're excited. Yeah. And Shantu, this is cooking up. I want to have you take a moment and share a little bit more about how your family's culture and your experience growing up, having having them immigrate from Cambodia, how that's contributed to your cooking and where you are today with the group. Um, it, it was uh, pretty pretty important, mm -hmm. really big uh, for me. My mom actually taught me a lot of different kinds of cuisine because right. they were traveling through Thailand, uh, China, Philippines, um, and I think they spent a little bit of time in Australia before they actually made it to America. So. Mm -hmm all that experience really kind of ingrained into me and everything that I was eating growing up yeah. it was crazy. Yeah. Like eating balut when I was like four years old. Wow. Like not even knowing that was like a, a crazy thing and just like bringing weird sandwiches to school for lunch. <laughs> and that really, really inspired you yeah. obviously to where you are today. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And being part of the statement group and being able to share this. I have to imagine, where's your mom today? My mom is actually enjoying a really nice day gardening. Because she's like, that's what she used to do in uh, Cambodia before they uh -huh. immigrated. And 
So she's she, still local. Yeah, she's still local, very to much the green, green thumb. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. That's really exciting. Amazing. Well, we're excited to hear about all of the expansions yes. up here in Connecticut and on, on the national level as well. Yeah, so we opened Dallas in about two months. I'm really excited about that. And we are opening a couple other concepts in downtown Hartford, um, Raw being the first of its kind. And I'm excited because it does bring something new to the city. And Chef Shantoon, like he said, brings so much of his background into the flavors of the dishes. So they do have some Asian influence in everything Absolutely. that we do, yeah. which makes them flavors over the top. Yeah. Oh, look at that presentation. Oh, that yeah. is incredible. It's a really interesting story, Chef Shantoon. Thank you so much for being with us. So much of what we do at home and through our lives comes from our mothers yes. and our, our traditions. Mine especially, yes. yes. Oh, thank you so much for being with us, both of you. Thank you. I know a lot of people at home have a passion for food, right? And if you would like to share that, and also, if you could use some extra cash, guess what? Fox 61 is giving away $2,500 to help you feed your dream. Head over to fox61.com to submit a video for your culinary idea. It could be a food truck, a restaurant, even a kitchen gadget. The top contestants are going to compete live at MGM Springfield in front of judges for a chance to win the prize. It's all happening June 9th on the Fox 61 Morning News during a special edition of Foodie Friday. So That'll make sure you check that out. Yeah.